And then today or this week, we have uh, been doing a series and this series is on the real estate as the ideal investment. Real estate is the ideal investment. And over this series, I've been talking about the five letters in the word ideal. One is income. The second is depreciation. The third is equity, equity buildup, equity opportunity, earning money off of equity. The fourth is appreciation. All right. So today we're covering appreciation and we believe that real estate is the ideal investment because you gain something that you would not otherwise get if you were to flip property. You don't get the benefit of appreciation of the asset. Now, something you got to be aware of is that every year, every dollar is worth less. And the reason it's worth less is because of a thing called inflation. Inflation is a real thing, according to the government, if you believe anything from the government, but this is, <laughs> this is something on the government website that is the, uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics says that our inflation has been about 3% per year over the last 20 years. Well, what does that mean? That means a dollar in January is worth 97 cents in December. So that means that that dollar being worth less, well, that also creates an opportunity for those that own property. So whether that's your own house, whether that's you've got several rental properties, maybe you are offering the path to home ownership to your clients, as I suggest that you do to solve a whole bunch of problems. Well, one of the benefits that you get by holding property is you get the benefit of appreciation. So as the dollar is worth less, the value of that property goes up. But another thing that happens is that income goes up as well. So in other words, the property taxes, insurance, things like that, well, that's going to be going up too. But the other thing that's going to be going up is the rent, the rent to cover that particular property, it's going to go up according to inflation. So there's your opportunity to take advantage of a great thing that exists right here. And that is to always know that your property is, is going to be worth more. Now that does not mean that in certain parts of the country, there's not depreciating assets because of a thing called uh, um, a recession or a depression in a certain part of the country, meaning that maybe a lot of people are moving out of that state or that city there might be some good reasons to do that. Uh, after we, what we've been through over the last some months, uh, you might want to relocate. But in any case, you look at the states and some states are growing and cities are growing and some states are dying and cities are dying. Well, that doesn't mean you can't make money there. Oh yes, you can. There are amazing opportunities, even in depressed market, even in depopulating markets, there's amazing opportunities. And when you get those deals, because you used the house monster, you already got customers in those areas. Well, you're now able to move them into those properties, regardless of whether it's inflating or deflating. But keep in mind about that word appreciation, that appreciation that can happen in a stable market. And certainly because of the fact that the dollar is worth less, that's already going to create that about that 3% uh, cause of uh, inflation in your rents and inflation in the value of the property. And then you can have other market factors, cause it to appreciate even more. So appreciation is our A of the word ideal. And the final one that I'm going to do next week is leverage the ability to leverage that asset and be able to purchase more assets.